So, welcome to the vlog. I think we've had a bit of a change plan this week uh, due to the virus that's going around here at Sunshine Tour. But so far, so good. They've all jumped really, really well, and actually, they've been up and running from the start, which is nice. So, haven't actually missed out from a couple of weeks off at the end. So, yeah, hopefully, a good, good show this weekend with the time we got left. So we've all got them all in flying rugs in their stables here. It's quite warm, so actually they don't want a proper rug on, and not only that, if they've got any flies in here, they're not too bad, but in some Spanish shows they can get bad, so just keeps the flies off and stops them getting any little bites on, the, on themselves as they're in their stable, and uh, keeps them nice and cool. Don't want them getting too warm in here. Hey, Cash, you ready for the Grand Prix? Oh. Come on. Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> she's like, I'm camera shy. Yeah, she's camera shy. Cash, come on. Come on, we've got to pose. Good so, Cash jumped uh, six rounds so far. She hasn't even touched the fence, let alone had one down. Um, been fantastic, stepped up a little bit. She came here a little bit under them. I'd say she hadn't done a lot since Olympia for the young riders class. She actually had a bit of a break, so she came here with not a lot of jumping under her belt and she's just uh, resumed basically where she left off. She jumped double clear in the 145 Small Grand Prix um, today and yeah, been really spot on, lovely form and really, really improving the whole time. Every round she's gone in, she got better and better and more relaxed. So very, very pleased with her. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Wait, how are you going faster? <laughs> well, that's scary. I did not get it. What did I say? No, I'm What? So Romeo has been fantastic so far this tour. He's actually, he jumped both 150 straight away on the first day, both weeks, to try and get us qualified for the Grand Prix and he's done that job. Two times out of two. Um, I think he, I haven't put down yet actually. He's been clear every time and he's jumping serious, really, really lovely. 
very, very relaxed and jumping great on these surfaces here. So, so far, so good with it. Yeah. Hello, I'm Bubbles, or Zoe, William Fannell's groom. We're just here waiting for the Grand Prix. I've got Billy Diamo, and, and then we've got Don Diego de Plasha. Clearing both Grand Prix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's looking for you, Charlotte. Yeah, he, is. he was looking back for you. <laughs> Maybe it's a love thing. Maybe he loves me. Mmm, <laughs> debatable. This, this is the way Didi shows it. Ow! Me and Didi are pals. My elbow. Oh, what, if you're fancy, you can oh. do it all, all yeah. Right, Diddy's just having his dinner now. He's just jumped his second double clear in two weeks uh, in Grand Prix. So, again, on some serious form as old Diddy. Hadn't had a fence down the whole time I've been here. He's been, he's been proper, actually. He's jumping fantastic. Yeah, feels great. Feels very fresh. He, he's come here up and running and he's ready to go. And like I said, both three star Grand Prix, he's been fantastic. <laughs> So very, very grateful for Didi's new owner, Christian Matthews. Um, Love to have him on board in the team and Didi's been jumping fantastic under his ownership so far. So very, very pleased on that front. Hopefully Christian's happy with how he's going and yeah, some good things to come this year, I feel.
<laughs> wave for the vlog. Okay. Say bye for the vlog. You just did wave. <laughs> So Spain has officially gone into lockdown. There we are the only ones left. Trying to work out how to get out. So the only food left in the restaurant is bread. <laughs> That's what everyone's eating for the next few days. Everything's officially been packed up. Even the chairs. You're really selling it. Um, I've got much bigger strides than Mumu. So, at the moment, Charlotte's. He's a bit slow, he's a pony. <laughs> <laughs> Charlotte's got a really nice stride. Yeah, she's got a really nice stride. Yeah, she's got a really nice stride. Yeah, she's got a really nice And a little oh, baby at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe's tan line from how many weeks in Dubai? Four. Four weeks in Dubai and five weeks in Spain. Not a bad effort. Not bad. <laughs> Did you use it this time? Yes. Oh, okay. All the time. <laughs> oh no. This is what, what goes into packing. <laughs> no paparazzi. <laughs> well, I'm vulnerable. Take your bets now on how many you think we can get under here. <laughs> Me. Do you want another one past it? Yes, please. 
should be all right. That should be all right. At least it pins on the mat. Yeah. That should be fine, Joe. It's going to give him a bit more length. Mm hmm Getting on a bit more of a slant. Yeah, a bit more of a slant, mm. so a bit longer. Yeah, good fun. This one up one. Right, so we're just finishing up here uh, last afternoon here in Spain. Shame we've had to shut up shop early, but we've had a good two weeks. All the horses have jumped fantastic, and actually, all those old, old ones have come here up and running, and they've had some good rounds and got uh, you know, some good results under their belt nice and early in the season, which is always a positive. So, heading off early doors this morning, or well, tomorrow morning, two o'clock in the morning, we leave tonight. And uh, got a couple of stops. We'll stop off in Burgos in Spain and then Le Mans in France and then Le Mans to home. So, long drive ahead of us, but get that done and then hopefully safe trip home and not have any problems on the way back. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Otis. <laughs>